Hello, my lesson plan lab family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you all here with me. All right, so for today's video, we are going to see how to create an e portfolio. So, this video is for teachers, student teachers, new teachers who are just starting to teach. This video is for you. So since the pandemic, we have been online. And so the Ministry of Education, they are encouraging us to create an e-portfolio. So what this e-portfolio does is that you are able, because most of our interviews are online, so you are able to share your achievements, your resumes, your degree, all of those different things with your with the persons who are interviewing you and so here are some headings that you should or you can have in your e-portfolio you can have information about yourself you need your resume and your cover letter your degree your achievements work experience certificates your recommendations your action plan job description professional development your lesson plans or research student achievements and video lessons you can add other things that you think is appropriate for your e-portfolio so your e-portfolio so your personal you personalize it the way that you want however for new teachers there are some things that you won't have in some of these headings you won't have in your e-portfolio for example student achievements that's not a, a um a heading that you would have in your portfolio however you choose the headings that you think will best suit your e-portfolio and so let us go into how to actually create our e-portfolio so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our google drive we're going to our google drive now what i encourage you what i encourage you to do is to create your google your e-portfolio using a personal email and not the Ministry of Education email. Because if you use that email, it's very limited and you are unable to share it with persons who you would want to share with. with. You would want to share it with. So we are going to go to, we're going to click on the little plus sign right over here. And then we're gonna go down to more. Now, right here, we're going to see something called Google Sites and that's what we're going to click on this is what we're going to use to create our e-portfolio so yes so this is what we're using to create our e-portfolio so to begin you can give your e-portfolio a name so and put your name there as well yes so we have covered this part of our e-portfolio so we are on our way now this is called google site it's basically creating a website for your e-portfolio it's a website for your e-portfolio basically so you can share the link with persons for them to get access to it or when you publish you can click on this thing right here that says share with others and you can add the person's email to it so that they can be a viewer all right so let me show you when you click share there the option is going to be there if you put in somebody's email if you put in somebody's email you can choose right here what you want them to be so you either you want them to be a viewer or if you want them to be an editor now if you allow them to be an editor they can make changes to your e-portfolio all right so let's go into the rest of our video all right so we are on the basics of our e-portfolio it looks bland it looks boring and we need it to look you know pretty and everything so we're going to go over to themes now you can always select the color of your choice always do that you can select the font style whether you want it classic heavy or light and then here they give you some simple little themes that you can choose from however the option is there for you to change 
change this little banner right here to something that you would like. So you could upload it or you're going to select the image. Any one of your choice. Now, the next thing beside the change, changing your image is the header type. So is it that you want to just, you want to have just the picture alone or you want a large banner, a banner, smaller banner or the title only. Now, I went with a banner. A banner. That's what I went with for my for my e-portfolio. And at the end, when I finish showing you all of these things, I'm going to show you how I did my e-portfolio, how it looks. All right, so now that we're, we have that out of the way, you can do what you want. Now here we, it says add logo. Now you can create a simple logo in Canva. Very, very simple. This was what I actually created in Canva for my logo and I just saved the picture and I added it to my e-portfolio. So you just click add logo and you're going to upload the image right there. So let's start. We are going to go to insert. So this is our home page basically. So we are going to click on the first thing that I would want to see on my home page if I'm doing an e-portfolio is information about myself, about me. And then now you can add a picture, which is you're going to upload that picture about yourself. Yes. Now, I created these, these things in Canva. Now you can resize the picture to whatever size you want. Yes, the option is there. If you want to carry this over a little closer, if you want it to be collapsible, meaning that it's when you when you touch on it, the information is going to show that option is there as well. So you can move it about how you want it. So I created these little things in Canva and I created them using the part that talks about logo. And the reason why I chose logo was because it makes the pictures the right size to hold in my e-portfolio. Now, if you use another template, the pictures are going to be too big and then some of the things are going to be cut off. All right, so I chose the template logo and then you go through and you select the logo of your type, which one you want to do and edit. And that's what I did. Yes. So now we're going to continue. So now we have on our, this is, this is our home page. Yes. So when persons come into your e-portfolio, this is what they're going to see. Now we're going to create a page page. And the first page is about me. Yes. So this is where you now you are going to write information about yourself. You're going to write information about yourself. So you have to go back to insert now to insert whether you have a Google Slides about a Google Slide about yourself, whatever you have with the information about yourself. Either you have a document, a Google Docs about yourself. You have the option to click on it and to select that file. All right. However, if you don't and you'd like to write the information in, the options are right here. Right here. So I chose this one. You can always choose another picture. However, I'm going to use the same picture that I had on the front page, on the home page. So we can put your name here so that they, they know your name. And then you can start writing your information right here. Personalize it the way that you want it and you continue, continue, continue. So this is basically your home page. Now we want all of this picture to show. So this is where we click this part that says on crop. Excellent. You shrink it now to the size of your choice. Now, if you want to change the picture, you click on those three buttons right here. So you click on these three buttons and you replace it. Upload. If you want to add text or if you want to add a caption, the option is there for you. If you even want to crop your picture, make it bigger, you can zoom in. The option is there for 
you. So now I'm going to go back to my home page because I have something to do there. So I want to I want to link this to the page that speaks about me. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to click on the picture. Then we're going to see something that says insert link. We're going to click it. And then we're going to click on the page that, that you want, want this picture to go to basically. So when the person click on the picture, it goes to that specific page. All right? Awesome. So that's how you do it. And then you can continue adding, 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 adding. No more information on things that you want persons to see. So for example, you want to show persons their certificate to add the picture. Your job description. Your work experience, very important. And your action plan. The list goes on. As I said, you can personalize it the way that you want it to. Now remember, whenever you add these on your home page, always create a page. Always create a page that will show the information that you have there. And you create it for the others and always ensure that you link that picture to the page. So you always link that picture to the page. Now, for example, if you created a page and you, you spelled something incorrectly, all you have to do is double click and add or minus or yeah, spell the word correctly. Excellent. So that's basically how you create your ePortfolio. Now, if you go to insert, you can see that you have the options to add images. You can go to your drive and upload different information that you have that you want to add to your ePortfolio. So now I'm going to show you an example of an ePortfolio. So this is my ePortfolio. And on the front or on the home page, there's information about myself. Are the picture showing? Yeah. Yes. My resume, degree, achievements, work experience, certificates, recommendation, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, let me show you how the link works. So I linked this picture to the page that speaks about me. So as I click on it, it's going to take me to that page. So there we go, information on myself, and then my philosophy is on it as well. Then when you click on the resume, same thing. And then the same thing goes for, if you go back to the home page, whichever one you click on, the information is going to be there. Yes. So teachers, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I encourage you to create an e-portfolio. We are knowing the time of online learning. Everything is being done online. And so I encourage you to create an e-portfolio and yeah, just do that. Also, don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to the Lesson Plan Lab because we have more videos coming soon i'm looking forward to yeah posting more videos to help teachers goodbye